All right, so initially with today's video, we were gonna be showing you guys how to do a boost leak test on a EJ205 series WRX, which is basically any WRX from 02 to 05. But unfortunately, we ran into an issue where we believe that the PCV valve is being stuck open. So we're gonna show you how to locate, diagnose, and replace the PCV valve. <laughs> So we're gonna go ahead and fix this issue first and then get back to the boost leak video next week. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. All right, so in typical Subaru fashion, they put a regular maintenance part in a really hard to reach location. So in order to gain access to our PCV valve, first things first, we're gonna to have to remove our intercooler. To start, we're gonna be removing these two bolts that hold our bypass valve in place. So now that we got the intercooler pulled, we just need to remove the hose that connects to our bypass valve. So some of these hoses are gonna be super old because they've been on the car forever. So using a heat gun to warm them up can make them be less fragile. So in order to diagnose this PCV valve, we want to make sure that the piston inside is not sticking or completely stuck. And you're going to do that by conducting a simple shake test. So as you guys can see with that simple shake test, this old PCV valve is completely seized, whereas this new one, it takes almost no force to shake it and be able to hear the piston slap within it. So we already know with this PCV valve that if it's in a stuck closed position, that could potentially cause damage to our oil seals and gaskets and produce internal sludge buildup. But what if it's stuck in an open position? Could that mimic the effects of a boost leak? Let me know in the comments down below for a chance to be shouted out in my next video. Now we're going to go ahead and reinstall this PCV valve and everything's going to be the exact same just in reverse order. So we're going to get started with that right now. So now that everything's back in place exactly where it should be, that's going to conclude the installation of this PCV valve. Remember to let me know in the comments down below about the question we discussed earlier, and with that being said, I will see you guys next week.